Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming with Gaitsu. We're back on Factorio again. Hi baby, welcome home. Doing a recording. We're back on Factorio because I've gotten a lot done. <clears throat> so, we're back here at the power plant. How was work, baby? Oh, it was good. It was good? We're back at the power plant and... Nothing much has changed here except for that I've got a wall now with a gate. So now I can get through. My entire compound is completely encased in wall uh, and water. I now have an actual spot for my science, which I'm still probably going to move. We're going to go over there now. And it's just got a whole bunch of this stuff another gate so that I can get down to other areas quicker. Nothing much has changed with the copper mine except for I have this which I'll show you guys later. Up here I'm trying to figure out what the combinators do and the smart chest because the smart chest is supposed to do something special but I haven't figured it out yet. And I haven't had any luck with any of the combinators. Here is my iron smelting area. This is where I left off last time trying to figure out just how to make it work. And I've still got a whole lot of furnaces to work with, but I don't really need them anymore. Because I've got a lot of iron coming in. A lot and you can see more of my wall I put up some turrets to defend uh, walk around all right down here where I've got a lot of stuff coming down to these are assembling machines what they do is they take your resources they turn it into an item and you don't have to spend time making it yourself and you can clean out your inventory a little bit. So what we've got here, these two sets here are both making gears. Iron gear wheels. And those are going into machines that are making science packs. And those are, are of course going right into chests. Get back up there. Now, in similar fashion, this mess here is also making science packs. Only the second science pack. Let me show you the method for this whole madness. First off, in order to make science pack twos, you need inserters and transport belts. To make transport belts, which I have in these chests here, you need iron plates and iron gear wheels. And of course, iron gear wheels need iron plates. So all these needing iron coming down directly into this line. This here, uh, sorry, hold on. So what we've got is iron gear wheels going into transporter belts, going into the science pack. So by process of elimination, this is our inserter, which needs three items, the electronic circuit, the iron gear wheel, and iron plate. So over here, we have the iron gear wheel again. Yeah, I know. This don't make no sense to you, does it? <laughs> it makes a little bit more sense when you see what's going on, but now this one is our electronic circuit. In order to make electronic circuits, we need copper cable. In order to make copper cable, we need copper plate, which and we just... in order to make lemonade, you need lemons. Exactly! It's the process of life! To give you an explanation, babe, 
this game is you're building a big factory. And your end goal is to send a rocket to the moon. Before you can do that, you have to build up everything. So what I am doing is I'm trying to get it all set up so that the machines are working themselves. You still don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What's my name? Your name is Baby. No way <laughs> So for everyone else viewing, I'll try and make it simpler, because I didn't realize it sounded so complicated until I was getting blank stares from Penguin. The no machine... Penguin. You're Penguin. I'm Baby. You're Penguin. I'm Baby. You're Penguin. Didn't he just say I was Baby? I was you're my Baby, but you're Penguin. Baby? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so, moving on. To explain this as simply as possible, because it is a little extensive, and as we go on, it'll get even more extensive. You have your iron. Where'd you go? Blah. Come back. <laughs> okay. No, you're fine. I'm coming. Okay. I'm coming. So. So. First things first. That explains the entire thing. These machines run off of electricity. Oh. Okay. My electricity thing is up here as soon as I can get up there. It's up here. This is my electric plant. It needs water, which gets transported through pipes, goes through boilers, and then goes into become steam. This shoots out the steam and it makes the electricity. So you need these poles, okay? You know, poles that you see on the sides of the road? Yeah. Okay, so that's what these are. Yeah. Only there's no roads, unless you count my conveyor belts. Okay? So that powers all of my drills. Yeah. Alright, does that make sense? Sure. This is one of my drills. Yes. This drill is making rocks. And that drill is named Bob. No. Battery operated buddy, get it? No. Yeah. This is a this is a family friendly channel. No, it's battery operated. No, it's not. It's electricity powered. So it's yeah, electricity operated. Buddy. All right, whatever. Now, Anyways, in order to power the boilers, boilers. the boilers that boil the water and send them into the steam engines, you need coal. Okay, so you've got coal here. And the coal sends the stuff to the boilers. The boilers use the coal to heat up the water. The water goes into the steam engines, which then creates the electricity, which powers the drills that I'm using for the coal, the rocks, the copper, and the iron. Okay. Are you with me so far? No. Yes. Make up your mind. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. So, we have these are science centers. Okay? In order for these to work, we need science packs. And each science pack requires a certain number of items. Okay. Okay. So, in order to make those items, since we have now established that electricity powers things, yeah. copper. This is my copper mine. I have not utilized very much of it at all because I don't need very much of it yet. Okay. The copper ore, which this thing mines, 
puts it into this furnace, oh. which smelts it down and turns it into copper plate. The copper plate I can then use to make a whole bunch of different things. So that goes on to this conveyor belt, okay. which comes down here to these machines that I was talking about. Okay, But the same thing also happens to the iron. The iron becomes iron plate, the iron plate becomes different items, and those different items then become the science packs that we need. Okay, so you're with me so far. So, in order to make the first science pack... We need Bill Nye. No. <laughs> I figured all this out without Bill Nye. We need Bill Nye. No. In order to make science pack one, you need copper plate and iron gear wheels. Okay. Or gears. I'll just say gears. Okay? So this machine... And this machine takes these iron plates and makes gears. Those gears then get transported to this other machine that then combines those gears with the copper plate. Okay, you with me so far? Those two put together makes the science pack one that we need. There are four different science packs. Each one more complex than the first. So, simply put, we have two different sets of machines making science packs. One. We have one set of machines, which is completely complicated and doesn't make any sense at all, making science packs two. Now, to make science pack twos, you need this item and this item. But those items, you need this item, and this item, and this item, this item, and this item. Okay? So that's what the machines are doing. They're taking the natural resources that I have sent there, and I'll probably need to put more <laughs> iron because those are not making very fast. <laughs> yeah, I don't have very many science packs twos. So, hopefully this made more sense to you guys than it did to her. And if not, then leave a comment in the comments. Because now I'm confused. So you confused yourself. No, you, you confused me. Okay. You, you, I will. Where did those come from? All right. So I need more iron. So let's go up to the top where... Grab those. In order to put more onto that. Okay. I think I know what I want. So I need to do. Let's go ahead and make all of these. I think I got some more. Yeah. And I also. Okay, I need. Electronic circuits. The electronic circuits needed. Copper. Do I have no copper? I have quite a bit of copper. Oh, I don't have very much iron. That's what's the problem. And let's go ahead and grab some copper as well. So what I'm doing here is I am making some more conveyor belts to send more of our iron plate down to this conveyor belt. Yes, no, I'm not talking to you anymore. No, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, so what we want is we want a million dollars. Put that there. That would be nice. Thank you for agreeing. I agree with you a lot. got flipped around. Alright. The 
this one will come down. Why did I? these down here and now I should only need these to move them over now I need to power them And the reason we're using the fast ones now is that everything's starting to move quite a bit faster. As you can see, I got a lot more done in the time that we were not there together. All of this area I am planning on having for the assembly. I've got it cleared all the way down to here so that I can actually work on it. So we're going to have a big assembly area. I just have it this way because I want to set up more and I'm wanting to hopefully make it a little bit more uh, smooth and not completely complicated like this is. Is this one mine? Awesome. What is it? Peach water. <laughs> you saying I'm fat? Liar. Yeah. I've had water all day. But yeah. So, that's what that is. Why isn't there a... I could have swore there was one here. That might explain why we're not making anything here. I could have sworn we put that in there. Anyways. So what we have set up right now is that the iron gears make fast enough that I don't need to put them in a chest. These make pretty fast, but I want to have a chest anyways so that I can get things made fast enough to do things. So there's always going to be stuff in this chest, hopefully, so that this can take directly out of the chest and into there. Same with over here for these. And this also makes, oh, why is this, I don't know why I made it for this one and not for that one. Not a big deal. Anyways, these circuits are being made really fast. Oh well. Really, I think all I did for these ones was I put them there to make it easier to collect them. But I can't remember. I got distracted and confused. Let's go ahead and grab from there. Oh, grab from there. Take these up to the science centers. All right. Um, put 
put these up here. I don't know how that microphone got so close. <laughs> and we'll put these up here for now. Uh, let's take a look at the stuff that I've got completed now. As you can see, I haven't gotten a whole lot of new stuff done. It's just that it's moving fast enough now that I decided that I'd go ahead and show you because we had a whole lot of stuff done. Uh, you can see that my steam engines are working at half performance. So I've got a little bit more time to build up before I have to make another one. And I believe I might actually be able to just add some more onto these, especially if I just go ahead and put on more water pumps. If not, I mean, I've got plenty of room over here because all of this is, uh, does this lead up into danger territory? Go ahead and take these down. Okay, no, this does not. Well, hold on. Okay, yeah, no. These don't. Good. I was about to say, everything in my base right now is safe. There is no way around my walls except for the gates that I've put up, which only activate for players and not for anything else. Why did I put a gate there if there's that? Oh, because that's not safe yet. Duh. And then we'll just put the gate here. And I want another gate here so that I can get through without... Because I'm lazy. I don't like walking if I don't have to. Eventually we'll get to a point where we'll have vehicles. And those vehicles will be helpful. I don't know if I'll ever be able to use these. I've looked up how they're supposed to work, and they still confuse me. So, yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. Alright then. I think that's all I can show you guys for today. I will see you all in the next video unless I can think of anything else that I wanted to show you and I don't think there was I think I've shown you everything in the base so far and let's check the map real quick As you can see, we've still got a lot of space that we can expand to. Eventually, I'm going to destroy these guys just because they're too close. Uh, that's stone. That's more copper. That's more enemies. That's more coal. Up here's my oil, so I'll make my oil refinery up there. All right, then. I think we have a good feel for what we're going to be doing up to the next episode so guys thank you for being here thanks for listening to me rambling on and on about how things work and in the end confusing myself and penguin um anyways thank you all so much for watching we will see you guys in the next video bye guys